It's just shy of 1.30 a.m. Monday morning. Filling up the Elantra here. And we're doing something pretty crazy today. Today we are driving to the only dealership in the entire, I don't want to say the entire country, but basically what I think is within, I know, a 500 mile radius uh, that has a Performance Blue six-speed manual Elantra N in stock. Wow, what am I doing? Seven hours later. Here we are. I'm getting ready to turn into Cronin Hyundai in Lexington. What am I doing in Lexington, Kentucky? The only dealership that had a Performance Blue Elantra N with a six-speed manual within a 500-mile radius of my home. I'm exhausted. I left my house at 1.30 this morning. Seven-hour drive all the way here to Nicholasville, Kentucky to buy this Elantra N. It's gonna be more fun going home than driving here though, so that's gonna keep me awake. All right, a little bit after 10 a.m. here, the deal is done. Gonna make a little farewell walk around the Elantra SEL, which has 4,419 miles. I will miss this car. It's been absolutely flawless in the time of owning it. My wife, has loved the car as well. She is going to enjoy driving my Santa Cruz, which is now going to be hers as the Elantra N is mine now. And the car was spotless, but the seven hour drive in rain, snow, salt, ended up getting a little bit dirty. So now it's not, but this is a very, solid car with no issues no accidents it's been perfect for my wife and i my wife drove it most of the time and uh she loved it here we are at cronin here's the 2023 elantra n got my friend pierce here yes, sir. Hey, he's exclusive. help me out Back with it. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we're gonna have to take a look at yours before i go yeah I'll pull it up. um Might yeah well. pull it side by side here i'll wait for you so pierce has a 2023 or 2022, I believe, uh, Elantra N in cyber gray, also with the six-speed manual. And I'd get a little bit more footage of myself talking, but I drove seven hours. I'm in like basically casual, not pajamas, but very comfy clothes. I don't look exactly video worthy, but this thing looks video worthy. I know that. This is Cronin Hyundai of Nicholasville, Kentucky. This is the absolute craziest car purchase I've ever done. I drove seven hours, almost 500 miles to buy this car. This is gonna be my new daily driver. And my wife is gonna take over the Santa Cruz. But like I said, I searched far and wide for an Elantra N with this exact everything. Performance Blue six-speed manual. I promise you guys that I'm gonna try to keep this one for at least. Hey, I mean, if, if I can battle that car guy urge to get a new car every so often, and if we can keep this thing for 15 to 20 years, this might be a car that my child can learn how to drive in. <laughs> baby on the way this is the dad sports car so <laughs> oh. oh there he is right over there look at that <laughs> we got to get out and get some pictures of these two bad boys together so yours is a 2022 is that right yeah. nice cyber gray and you've got what 12,000 miles on it a little over Nice, nice. Not every day you get to see two of these together like that. Pierce went in to get my temp tags so I can hit the road. Big thanks to him, the finance staff, and really the whole crew at Cronin here in Nicholasville. It's been a seamless experience that, I mean, 
I know I'm seven hours away, but hey, if they had another rare Hyundai vehicle that I was in the market to buy, then I'd definitely come back here. I'm glad I got to do business with them. Today is going to make up for the videos that I wanted to take that I feel like I didn't quite get to take because my mind was very exhausted. I woke up at 1 a.m. I left my house a quarter after 1 a.m. this past Monday, drove 490 roughly miles to Nicholasville, Kentucky to buy this thing. Then I drove straight back right after the purchase. Didn't stop and, and stay at a hotel and even get anything to eat until, until later in the afternoon when I was about 150 miles into my trip or so is when I finally said, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go to Steak and Shake and I'm gonna get a couple of cheeseburgers, a couple of steak burgers with fries and a shake. I was exhausted that day, but it was worth it. And we're gonna see why in this video today of this car. This is gonna be good also because this is my wife's second time riding in this car. I the door yet. <laughs> How are you? Whoa, whoa, ah! coffee, coffee. Careful, Get, no, it doesn't matter. You gotta be careful with that. Oh, oh wow, look at this guys. Oh my, wow, wow, wow. All right, snacks. Sometimes when you have a pregnant wife, she packs all the snacks in the world. Got a whole grocery store in the car. It's okay, she's pretty cute. We're going up into the mountains where it's really, you have to go slow on its windy roads. That's what you think. <laughs> hey. Please. <laughs> you ready to have some fun? Yes, but I don't know what what do you mean by fun? Oh my god. really can't think of a much better vehicle to take on a scenic drive through Skyline Drive. This thing is a blast to drive so far. It's gonna have a thousand miles by the time the one week mark of ownership is here. Here we have our pizza. Actually, this is my pizza from the melting pot. Buffalo chicken, not bad. It's actually really good. Let's see what you got. got the, uh... I got the turkey. The turkey. The turkey. The turkey. <laughs> wow, this thing hugs these corners like it really does. I can feel it. Oof. Doesn't it feel so firmly planted to the road? Picnic grounds. Look, we could have had a picnic. It's kind of a little bit chilly. Right. But... Here we ate our lunch at the first overpass. We could have had... <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Long way 
way to go. How about this scenery? <laughs> no, that's, that's the nicest scenery. <laughs> As we're driving through Skyline Drive here, I figured it'd be a great opportunity to give you guys a unique perspective of a review on the channel. This is going to be an owner review, but really it's kind of a vlog video mashup as well. So a little bit of a backstory as to what led me to purchasing an Elantra N is about three months ago roughly. I started taking Beth's Elantra SEL to work, about 70 miles round trip each day. And I thoroughly enjoyed driving that car. I became a big Elantra fan. And truth be told, I enjoyed driving that as much, if not more, than my Santa Cruz. Also during that time frame, I had my 1997 BMW Z3, which I actually just sold about a month or so ago. After that is where I really had that fire inside of me that wanted to get another sports car, but with a baby on the way, just had to have something that was practical, something that fit the bill, uh, ultimately four doors, but still fun to drive. So the Elantra N fits that bill. The sporty four door that is fun to drive, yet you can still haul the entire family in. With my Elantra in here, we do have the six-speed manual transmission. That was a must-have for me. And also another must-have was the Performance Blue exterior, which in my opinion just looks stunning on this car, along with the red brake calipers and also the red body skirt lines. Just looks so good with the Performance Blue. It does have end corner carving differential, ELSD, and the 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine puts out 276 horsepower, 289 pound feet of torque. The braking on Elantra N is very secure and just on point. As you're driving around corners, if you have to come to a sudden stop or slow down quickly, or going downhill, whatever it may be, intense driving environments, if you're trying to have a little bit more fun with the car, it does have great braking. So you're gonna notice that with the Elantra N, you get 14.2 inch front and 12.4 inch rear ventilated brake rotors. Contributing to the fantastic handling that this car has is the rear chassis brace electronically controlled suspension, multi-link independent rear suspension, and then also stepping out back here. Right now I have it in sport mode. We do have the sport exhaust system with variable valve positions. That really has been one of my absolute favorite things about the Elantra N is that if I'm driving it down the road and I want to eliminate that drone from the exhaust, I'm on the highway 7580. I can pop it into eco or normal mode and it is just like a normal Elantra. But if I pop it into sport or especially end mode, I get that vicious growling popping sports car exhaust. It just makes it so much more enjoyable and fun to drive. It does have the N Grin control system. Also attributing to that fantastic handling is rack mounted motor driven power steering. I gotta say the power steering, the overall feel of the steering responsiveness is really on point. Hyundai did a fantastic job. Something else that we are going to witness and experience as we drive the Elantra N is the rev matching that comes with that six speed manual. That just helps uh, really give you the potential for smoother shifts, a much more enjoyable driving experience while cruising around in the end. Right now we're in normal mode and... Normal mode. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's funny. Normal mode and you don't really hear that, that exhaust drone, do you honey? It's, it's just not there. No, it's, it's almost like... Um... Yeah, and even if you, it's a little bit. If you put it in eco, it's the same way. And then watch if you put it into sport. 
that really loud growl comes back and then if you put it into N is where you really start getting those clicks and pops. I'm not sure if I announced it because this is really going to be the first official video of this car on the channel. I posted a few things on Instagram but the name of the car is Wildcat because it's blue and because of the story that I'll be able to tell my children and someday grandchildren about how I crazily drove to Kentucky to buy a car. And no, I'm not necessarily a Kentucky Wildcats fan. I believe my papaw was, but this is the Wildcat. It sounds like a Wildcat, too. <laughs> it does sound like a Wildcat, so the name fits. <laughs> Very fitting. <laughs> when is the next time we stop? Right here, right? Um, I'm not gonna stop right no. there because then what the My ears are popping. I know what else is popping. <laughs> Careful, <laughs> this is windy coming up here. Careful. Baby is saying telling you to be <laughs> We're not doing that. Ooh, that's funny. <laughs> I will be very happy and content continuing to be a passenger. <laughs> well, somewhat happy. <laughs> <laughs> somewhat happy? What do you mean somewhat happy? <laughs> do you see me? My hands are sweating because I'm holding on to this. The highway driving, it's, it's nothing that blows your mind. But when you take it on these roads, this is where this car truly shines. Two liter turbo, 276 horsepower. So we had a great day at Skyline Drive today. I wanted to come back to the filming spot before we go home and give a little bit of a more detailed walkthrough of the car, show you some more features on the inside that we didn't cover while we were on the trip to Skyline Drive, uh, driving on those nice windy roads, getting to experience more of the performance aspect of the car as that's a topic that we've really already discussed. Now, the next thing I want to discuss and go over here with the Elantra N is the safety technology. So being a sports car, you might think that you have to sacrifice some of those safety uh, features and benefits, but that is not the case. So we have forward collision avoidance assist. We have blind spot cross traffic avoidance assist. Rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist lane keeping assist, lane following assist, parking distance warning and reverse, and uh, stepping out to the back where we just were, we will notice those parking sensors all along the rear, four in total. And then also a safe exit warning and driver attention warning. The next area of the car that I'd like to touch on is the exterior. So we have these really nice 19 inch alloy wheels. These are 19 by eight. They're a little bit dirty now. I've heard folks online say that they are a little bit of uh, brake dust magnets. And I can see that after driving the car a thousand miles and only washing it once. That's due for another wash there. Those wheels are pretty dirty. But 19 by eight alloy wheels with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S summer tires. I love those tires. Those are really just a, a nice looking tire and the alloy wheels, the 19 by eights, those look fantastic on the car. I mentioned earlier, we have those red brake calipers on the end. And also in addition to that, we have the end specific body styling and the rear diffuser. 
Also, we're going to have heated side mirrors with the side turn indicators there. And these are gonna be a black painted mirror. And those side mirrors match this rear wing spoiler very nicely. Down low here, we have large bore dual exhaust outlets. As you guys just heard there, this car has the ability to go from sounding like a normal compact sedan driving down the road. Quiet, comfortable, soft, mellow. And we have the eco mode, normal mode, sport mode, and then end mode as I demonstrated each of those modes for you to hear. A very nice selection uh, of driving modes really. And it really just depends on what feel you're going for. If you're wanting to have a little bit more of a sporty feel, I personally just drive it in eco and normal mode most of the time on the highway, at least over the past almost 900 miles now. But it is nice to have that sport and end mode when you're wanting to get up to speed a little bit quicker, make a little bit of noise. It's nice to have those drive modes as well. Up top we have our antenna fin that is black matching the black rear wing. Also, this right here, this uh, piece on the trunk is black as well. I do like how in the end and the higher trim Elantras, we do have the LED bar that goes across the entire rear. Versus with the standard SEL and SE models, we lose that LED bar. That's a nice touch there. Also, coming over here, that LED bar continues. And on each side, we have almost like a... Uh, axe design or an arrow looking design for the tail lights very sharp and a nice detail going into these tail lights with the lines black surrounding making individual sections in there for the tail lights that just tie in to the black wing the black insert here above your led bar and the black plastic down low it's all just tying in together very nicely my thought is personally leaving the end badge on and then removing the Elantra badging. That way it's just Hyundai and N on the rear. That's all we see. We've got our power windows, locks, and mirrors. It does have Bose Premium Audio. We'll get into that once we hop inside. We've got our insert here, which is like a suede material with these three lines of perforation. These seats are really comfortable considering they're more sports car oriented. And we've got the insert right there with the glowing N logo. We've got nice stitching here, good bolstering leather with that suede material inserted in the center, just like we find on the doors as well. Looking at this steering wheel, we have a three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with stitching. And on the sides here, we've got perforated stitching. And on the sides here, we have perforated leather. We do have our rev matching. We have the button for our end mode. We have uh, buttons to switch our drive mode from eco, normal, and sport. And then down here, we have our little end logo right there. This steering wheel layout and design is different from the standard Hyundai Elantra uh, SE, SEL, SEL convenience. It's a lot different, um, limited, uh, totally different steering wheel here. On the left side, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls. On the right side, we have our lane keeping assist, and then also our cruise control and then menu controls as well. Got that gauge sweep there. 
and I do like how Hyundai took the time to put a different design into each mode of driving that the vehicle has. Right now we're in normal mode. Switch it into sport mode and you see how the gauge cluster does its little change and the gauges are red. Eco mode is almost kind of like a, it reminds me of that um, Wrigley's, I think, gum, which is, she's about ready to fall asleep over here. It's been, been a long day for the pregnant lady. <laughs> what was that blue gum? Is it winter fresh? I don't, th I don't know I, if that's what it was. I think it was a light blue gum. Com so. Comment and let me know if I'm right. That right there, that color reminds me of winter fresh gum, Wrigley's winter about, fresh gum. Yeah, so we've got right here, this mode is, it's not eco mode, forget what it says here. That's That right there is winter fresh mode. And then if we go here, then we have, hmm, what is that? That's just, I don't know what that is. I don't have a, a gum analogy for that. This right here is actually uh, big red. Remember big red, the cinnamon? Mm -hmm. that, cinnamon that's yeah. big red mode and then winter fresh. So those are our driving modes right there with our little. Cinnamon, um, <laughs> that, that's the gum, it reminds me of the cinnamon hot, hot tamale. Hot, hot tamale. <laughs> We've got winter fresh and hot tamale mode. Hot tamale <laughs> mode, okay. So then actually, no, 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 no. So here's what we do. This is, this right here, that is big red mode. And then when we push the end button over on the right side, that is hot tamale mode because you see how it does like a little fire right there. And if we go over here and we push N on our 10 inch screen over here, it takes us and gives us the throttle, oil temp, engine, speedometer, our gear indicator there, our tachometer, lap timer, brake press, which shows how much of the brakes that you are pushing, I'm guessing. I, I'm not sure the technical explanation of that, but I do know the harder that you press the brakes, the harder that it does, uh, or the more it does go up there. If you click circuit, I've noticed that it has uh, Motorsports Parks on here. So Watkins Glen, WeatherTech Raceway, Lime Rock Park. Not that I'll ever go to any of these tracks with the car. I wish it had Skyline Drive on there. But next over we have Map. I haven't used this navigation system yet, but I assume that it'll do just fine whenever I do decide to use it. Home button over in the top left will take us back to this main layout here. This screen right here is where it kind of defaults to when you start the vehicle up. We've got our date and time over on the left, our location, our temperature, and if you swipe right, then we've got navigation menu again, allowing you to view traffic, search a destination, point of interest category, save places. This system doesn't lag at all. I've noticed it's actually a little bit more responsive than the SEL Elantra's uh, interior head unit, which was, I believe, an eight inch uh, screen. Phone. Phone projection, which would be our Apple CarPlay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that so we can go back to where we were. We have voice memo, which I really haven't read the manual on this this car to know what that is. Voice memos are stored in this vehicle system until deleted. Please go to menu to delete. Let me take a look and see if I can record something. Hey, Hyundai fans. Here we have the Elantra N for 2023. I wonder if it'll play that back now. Okay, let me see. Stop. Saved. Okay. We're learning together here with this. I haven't used this before. Hey, Hyundai fans. Here we have the Elantra N for 2023. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So you can uh, record voice memos and store them in this unit here. I'm not sure the extent of that or the storage capacity. Um, I'm gonna have to look further into that. I have this is the first time that I've actually sat down to look at this head unit in depth. I haven't taken a whole lot of time to thoroughly look into it, even though I've watched a lot of videos on this car online and I have played around with it in other ways. Clicking climate there is going to take us to our dual zone climate. From this screen, we'll be able to view the temperature 
that the vehicle is set on. It rises up and down as you turn the knob. Sink, climate settings for circulate air, activate upon washer fluid use, automatic dehumidify, auto defog, valet mode, quiet mode. When quiet mode is selected, radio media is only played in the front seats. Volume will automatically be lowered if the volume is set on higher levels. That's nice for when the little baby is in the back seat. We have music playing up front, but not in the back, so the baby can sleep, right? Yeah. Hmm. HD radio data. Fuel prices, let's take a look at that, okay. So we've got a comparison of fuel prices right there. Look at that, if we wanted to save, we could go to Crown. Um, looks like they're 14 cents and 10 cents cheaper than the competition. Radio. We got Sirius XM. I made up my mind. Do, do, do. in misery. Bose Premium Audio. Go to setup there. Setup is going to give vehicle settings. Uh, you can really go in depth and adjust a lot of the safety controls and other controls that I'm not gonna dive into right now. I'll have to make a separate video on that. Navigation, sound, devices, user profile, voice recognition, screen layout, display, button, blue link, general. I'm gonna click button. Okay, drive mode. So that looks like it's for the different drive modes. There's another button down here that says drive mode that if we push that, it'll switch from eco, normal, and sport. Let's go ahead and go back home. There's one more screen over here. So we've got media, blue link, notifications, and user's manual. So let's see here. If we were to scan this QR code, I'm guessing that it's going to take us to the Elantra N owner's manual online. Look at that, right on our phone. Forget using the book that's in the glove box, even though I'd probably end up referencing that before using the QR code thing, just because I like having the book in front of me. Down here we have map, nav, radio, media, power, seek buttons, favorite button, setup button, and that's gonna just take us to this screen here if we push that. Heated seats, I've noticed these heated seats tend to feel warmer um, than my Santa Cruz, uh, which is now gonna be Beth's car that she's driving. Uh, these seats tend to warm up quicker and it could be because of this uh, suede material. We do have wireless charging. I don't know how well this works. I haven't actually tried it, but I'll put my phone here and see what happens. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it just lit up and yeah, it looks like it's charging. Um, my salesperson at Cronin, uh, Pierce, he said that his wireless charging and his Elantra N, which is a 2022, does not work. Mine looks like it's working as of right now, but we'll have to look further into that. Only time really will tell. Pushing the toggle button right here or display button, it's going to give you a compass tire pressure got a couple different um, displays right there the attention level a little icon of the car oil temp engine temp turbo torque track timer speedometer trip meters I like leaving mine on the digital speedometer over to the left here I don't know what Hyundai was thinking with this. It looks like it's digital and it lights up in a little line right there. It's just blank. A uh, YouTuber I watched a review of on this car, Rady's Rides, he does some pretty good car reviews. He zonked this, as he would say. And I agree with that. I don't know what this was. If this is, he said in his review that maybe it's Hyundai planning to put something here in the future and they didn't want to just leave it blank. So they put that there and then at some point they might be adding additional, you know, features or whatever over there. But uh, for now, we've got a little blank, weird looking power icon that does nothing. <laughs> 
We've got our interior gauge cluster dimming. I'm drawing a blank here on which one of these is which. I know that pressing this one, the steering assist, basically this right here is the one where the car uh, steers itself and you do have to monitor. It's not like it drives itself completely. Um, and this over here, I believe that one's the lane keeping assist, um, but feel free to comment and clarify that. I'm drawing a blank on which one is which they're getting them mixed up. Down low, we do have chrome footrest over here, chrome clutch, brake and gas pedals. And then looking over here, we have a sleepy wife that's pregnant and hungry. <laughs> Got our owner's manual window sticker in there. Rated 22 city, 31 highway miles per gallon, 25 combined. I had a really good bit of positive equity rolling into this Elantra N from the Elantra SEL, and I didn't have to pay over sticker as well. Cronin gave me a, a really good deal on this, not charging above sticker like a lot of dealerships tend to do, especially with something like this, hard to find, six speed manual and the performance blue. Um, having done nationwide searches, searches within a thousand and five hundred miles, for them to not sell this thing above sticker, kudos to Cronin Hyundai. Definitely will <laughs> make a trip to them to buy another car if they had another unicorn vehicle that I was in the market for. If it just so happened, I would do business with them again. They were a pleasure to deal with. While we are under this little covering in the shade here the front side of the filming spot where I normally film I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video it's been a fun day taking the car to Skyline Drive <laughs> look at her she's cute looking over here <laughs> love you, love you too. <laughs> take a look at that back seat here as long as this door is open decent amount of leg room here and again, we've got that dual material, the leather with stitching, and then the suede inserts there in the center as well. One more thing that I'll mention as we wrap up the video is the gloss, instead of being just normal black plastic, the gloss black tying in with the rear wing, the shark fin up top, and then the side view mirrors. Please comment your thoughts of this vehicle, of the upgrade, of the trade, of Hyundai, of Elantra N, the competition. This thing is right up there um, in the, the segment of its competitors. We've got WRX, we've got Golf R, we've got Civic SI. This is right there in that field. Let me know what you guys think of this car. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button before you go in addition to commenting, and also subscribe today. If you haven't already, there will be plenty more content to come of this car in the future. Until next time, take care everyone, and I will see you guys in the next one.